The report is that of a coup in Niger Republic where certain group of people, individuals, are challenging some of their ministers. In fact, they are asking them to account for monies that have disappeared, money that has been kept in their custody, resources that they have been in charge of. And a lot of Nigerians and many other people even down to the Caribbean, they are saying this is what is needed in their country. The only problem is this. Those who are calling for this uh, clarity, those who are asking for whoever it is that has been at the ends of a fear to produce or to show to them what they have been doing to account for all of their dealings and activities while they are in government. The problem is that majority of them will end up in the same quagamere. They will end up in the same dirt. They will come in and repeat the same thing. That is the problem there. Now, former Minister of Labor and Employment, Fessos Kiamo, has warned Nigerians against comparing the flaws during the just concluded 2023 general election in the country to the recent coup in the Republic of Niger. I'll break it down. What does that mean? With the coup in Niger Republic, there are some group of people who are looking at Nigeria as the next target. They are saying that coup will be the answer to the government of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. According to Festus Kiamo, he said many Nigerians will go on social media to get clicks and likes, will go to jail should a coup happen in Nigeria. Festus Kiamo probably does not understand the kind of coup um, that uh, we are talking about here if it happens in Nigeria. Even Festus Kiamo will not be able to stay in Nigeria. Obviously, Festus Kiamo recently bought a property in the United States of America and definitely has a visa. He will be one of those that will quickly escape. Festus Kiamo will run out of Nigeria. On Friday, that is 28th of July, the year 2023, Nijay Military General Abdurrahman Chiani declared himself as a new head of a transitional government in Nijay Republic. Nijay is the same, it's just a French for Nigeria. Nigeria is the same Nijay. I'm not saying it's the same country. I mean, the French colonized Nijay. They gave it Nijay. British colonized Nigeria. They gave it Nigeria. Now, President, ousted President, President on exile, Mohamed Bazoum, is at large right now. And, uh, you know, there have been restriction, restricted access to the presidential residence and office. The military um, has detained um, the president. Uh, we don't know if he has been detained or is somewhere. But the report is that he has been detained um, despite series of calls for calm by international bodies. Reacting to this development, Kiyamo tweeted saying that should a coup d'etat occur in Nigeria, there will be consequences. And I'm wondering if he himself will be alive if such happens, if he will not be caught across the crossfire, if he will be able to run out of Nigeria. I don't know um, the enormity of uh, that kind of coup should that happen in Nigeria. According to him, he said, whoever it is that is working behind the scene um, in any guise to come up with this kind of um, um, Niger Republic coup will have um, a lot to face. He stressed that those who think they have scored a point by comparing the coup to their so-called narrative of a flawed election in Nigeria should know that they are cutting their noses to spite their faces. Keamo observed that while there are constitutional means to seek redress in a disputed election, there is no means to seek redress for a coup. He said, we all have a duty, whether as members of the opposition or the ruling party, to outrightly reject and condemn the coup in the Nigerian Republic. Those who think they have scored the point by comparing the coup to their so-called narrative of a flawed election in Nigeria should know that they are cutting their noses to spy their faces. A coup does not overthrow only the president alone. A coup overthrows all levels of constitutional government in the country, including the government formed by the opposition parties themselves 
at different levels of government after winning elections at those levels. In fact, those who take a fancy in appealing to the mob on social media to get clicks and likes will be in jail if a coup happens and will not even have such opportunity again to speak their minds. The earlier we realize that a coup d'etat is not a solution to disputed elections in Africa, the best for us. Almost all elections in Africa have always been disputed anyway, whilst there are constitutional means to seek redress in a disputed election. There is no means to seek redress for a coup because even the constitution itself will be suspended when a coup happens. So, um, this man is simply crying out um, loud. He knows that should there be a coup, those property that most of them have kept will be set ablaze. Many things will happen that will go wrong. And uh, the only uh, thing that he might uh, live on is that that probably properties or whatever it is that he has um, abroad. Um, that's just what it is. People are saying the government has failed them. They are not interested in it. But like I said, he's afraid because he uh, will be the first to go to the jail that those Nigerians that plan the coup, whoever it is that plan the coup, um, I don't know, military might want to come up with this. He's not really addressing the military because I don't know if he's saying a civilian coup or is he saying a military coup. If it's a military coup, then, mister, you will be in jail as fast as as you can ever imagine. You will be in jail. I don't think there will be anybody that will be in jail than you. That's the truth. He's afraid. He's afraid because uh, he knows that this has happened before. Although it was during the military um era military regime he knows that this has happened before so what else can we say the reason why this coup came up is because the government of the day in EJ, the government of those days because they are no longer there's no longer a government there anyway there's just a transitional government they are like that they are criminals they are wicked people they are looters they are thieves and they are feeding fat that's the truth now, the military coming in does not mean that the military will do right. It has happened in Nigeria. This is not the first time. Even Ghana itself, they, they are also having issues as regards if there is going to be coup. If there is going to be a coup, there is nothing anyone will do. There is no international body that will come to help you. They will come to steal from you. That's what they do. They are not interested in your growth. They are not interested more in your stability. Talk of migrants, even without war. Migrants have crossed the Mediterranean, the desert, into Europe. So what are we talking about? Because there is a kind, a different kind of war in those countries that will make people go through such and take, you know, risk. So let us be very sincere about this. Let us tell ourselves the truth. The truth is this. Regardless of what anyone thinks, there is no election in Africa. Let us even look at Nigeria. Let us not go far. There is no election in Nigeria that everybody will be happy with. No one will say everyone will be happy. There will always be people who are in support of Bola Metinubu. There will always be people who have been supporting Atiku. There will always be people who are in support of Peter Obi. So those who are not in support of Peter Obi will say the election was rigged. They will say, no, it is not true. It is not correct. That is the truth. And that's the reality of it. As it is right now, I don't know what will become of uh, um, this man who is, you know, is being held down. Uh, it's good. It's good. Let them account for what they have stolen in Nigeria Republic. And there are people who are saying this should be repl repeated, replicated in Nigeria. Let them account. But like I said, it has happened before. And when the military came in, they are not people of integrity. That's the truth. We don't know if the military in Nigeria Republic, the, the general who has declared himself the transitional head of state, we don't know if he's a man of integrity or those who are around him are people of integrity. Are they going to continue in looting that country whilst they claim that they are waiting for a democratic um, government that is what people do not know there are some who are pushing Bola Metunumbu to cut off electricity that's coming from Renu Omokri um, he once uh, worked with uh, you know he was one of the advisor to ex-president uh, Jonathan he said they should cut off electricity to Nigeria Republic and do not allow anything to go in and out and this and that. It's talking senselessly. This will aggravate. Once you take electricity off, there will be pressure. What kind of suggestion, what kind of attack is that? You are taking off electricity, cutting off electricity supply so that the people will be frustrated. Children, babies will not have access to electricity. What kind of madness is this? I thought 
Ray Lomo Cree used to speak here and there, say certain things that make, but after a while, I realized that after he got a little and he ran down to the UK, I mean, he used to be in the UK anyway, but with the money he got from government, he settled himself a bit more in the UK, somehow, put himself there. He thinks this is life. You should come to Nigeria and come and explain and tell us these things. They should cut off electricity from a country so that the children, babies, will suffer from lack of electricity and problems. People are asking him to come to Nigeria and explain. Let him come and solve the issues in Nigeria. I don't know what your thoughts are. Like and share, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next update.